Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can create Gothic hand lettering through Procreate or just by drawing it on your iPad or on paper. Black letter calligraphy is really fun. It's really in style and fashion right now. People love it and there's a lot you can do with it. So I'm going to give you a basic rundown in this video. So make sure you watch to the end to find out exactly how I do it and get the textures on the lettering too. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Get your own beautiful website today. If you are someone who's in the design industry or a creative, or maybe you're a hand lettering artist that needs a place to put their portfolio, but customize the way it looks, Squarespace is the place for you. They've got thousands of templates for you to choose from that have been beautifully designed professionally, so you look the best. It's a lot easier than coding your own website. I've been using them for years to sell my Procreate brushes and to get client commissions. If you would like to try Squarespace out for yourself, click the link down below. That gives you 10% off your first purchase with Squarespace. When you create black letter and any sort of typography ever, you're going to want to keep everything consistent. So what we've got here is like a grid. Now, the way that this grid works is when you create four of these squares all joined up, that is going to be your X height. So if I was going to draw an A or letter out an A, for instance, if I just do it really quickly, that's a really quick one, but you can see that this fully matches the width. So that's the sort of rule there. If you have four of these squares, that's going to be your X height. So you add another two for the ascender and then another two at the bottom for the descenders. And that's a really quick rule of thumb to know how thick it's going to be and how thin your line should be corresponding to your brush size. Now the brushes that I'm using in this tutorial are my Gothic set and you've got a lot here and you can go and purchase them online or create them yourself. I'll leave a link down below in the description. So once you've created your grid, it doesn't matter how long it is, we're just gonna be working on a word or a few letters. You wanna do some practice. Now, in any sort of type form, it's going to be similar. So let's start off again with the A. So I'm going to go from my X height here, and I'm going to make sure when I do it, it's going to come down. There's a little trick with the A and Gothic, and it's this. So we've got a straight line down on this angle here, but then we also have this line here, which goes off at a different angle. And what we can do here to create the A, we can create these lines like so. And we can do these perfectly if we want to by holding it down we get a straight line and you can get the full vertical straight line like so with your brush so if that's an a and it's a very bad a because of my arm positioning here on the ipad when we do an o it's going to be very similar but without the stem there so i'm going to show you what it's like to do an o and there's an o so you can see the similarities there Everything is to do with these sort of lines that we're creating, which is down, straight, and then to the side. Everything is going to be created like that. For instance, if I was to create a B over here, I'm gonna go up to my A sender here, come down. I'm gonna hold my finger there to keep it straight. Normally you wouldn't do this. Normally when you're doing it on normal paper is you would do it free flowing like so, but it's quite hard to do on the iPad because you end up basically not getting the exact straightness and it, and it doesn't really work well for black letter the next one would be the c so the c basically you come down like so and then you want to come further out the reason why we come further out with the c is because when we do this we want to make sure that it doesn't look weird we want this to sort of match up here like so if we weren't to do that and we do it like a normal a you would see that it goes a bit strange and it looks like there's a bit missing. So we need to go further out with the C. The D is just like a backwards B and because we're doing this in a modern style, it's a lot easier. So go ahead and create this line first, create that, create this. And from here, from the top of the A sender, come down and then you can sort of go ahead and create that. Again, the E is like a C, so we go ahead and really pull that out we then do this line here on the side and you will have to undo it a few times to get it right all the way across and you can cut this little lip there if you do want to everything follows this pattern and it should be pretty self-explanatory after a while it shouldn't take too long for you to work out how to do it it's about keeping everything consistent 
and the more consistent your shapes are the easier you'll find this the g is a fun one because we have to go to the d center options down here so we'll create a normal o or half of a normal o like this and when we come here and create this we want to come all the way down so i'm going to just do this straight here to about here and then from the o we come up and that's a g now i'm not going to do the whole alphabet for you because the rules are already set in place here i'm going to show you a few more letters after this but just to recap you want to make sure that everything starts from the top to the bottom so we're going down and when we go to the right like so you want to keep that consistent every time so you want this to be all the time consistent now you can see there's some wriggly lines here and they're very hard to get rid of you really have to practice it but what i would suggest to do is have this as your placeholder and then you can create another layer on top and start actually refining it with the pencil drawing so a good word to start off with practicing to do drills is the word minimum and the reason why it has to look consistent it's all about your consistency with the drill so i'm going to create an m and this is going to start off the word minimum which is a really good way to drill your gothic lettering and it's very hard for me to do because it's right in front of me normally i'll have my ipad like this on the side so i can do it because it best fits my posture so make sure you're comfortable with it now you can see here the m was just a series of eyes and an eye is basically just this that is an eye and you can put a little dot on top if you want the n is kind of like the i and the n together apart from it's only got one so you wouldn't add another one on so as you go through this you'll start to see that is very simple and the more consistent you do it the easier it is now obviously it's very hard to do at first when you're first starting this out in your lettering journey so don't feel like i feel right now a bit useless when you're doing it just keep practicing keep undoing it and that's the great thing about the ipad and this brush set it looks real um but it does help you keep the angles so you can see that does not look the best it looks a bit hit and miss i mean it's quite consistent for what the speed was but i've got a really easy way after this when you've got your idea or the word i've got a really easy way for you to create really specifically consistent type so go to that layer and just drop the opacity right down add a new layer on top and go to your pencil or pen of choice what we're going to do is we're going to really go to town on this we're going to retrace over it and this is what i normally do so every time i trace over this i'm going to make sure it fits the vertical axis so i'm going to hold my finger there on the straight line function which will basically snap it in place to the vertical point i'm going to do this every time i'm only going to create one so i'm going to have to really concentrate on making sure that this is the one that i want to create And there we go all we need to do now is basically copy and paste it so duplicate it on the side make sure you've got magnets held bring it over so once you've copied this over you want to go ahead and add a connector to the layer that you've just done which will be this one so add a connector here and you can use this in a perfect way but i normally just like to scribble it in let's do it again duplicate it move it boom and there we go we don't want to merge these together because we want to keep going so we'll duplicate the first one over there to the eye what we can do is duplicate or go ahead and merge them all together highlight this three finger swipe down cut and paste because this is an m i'll just go ahead and select that and clear it use my eraser and we just keep carrying on and that is basically how i completed this at the end i just added texture to it through some brushes that you can also buy on my website but there you go and i just imported it onto an image i just want to thank squarespace for sponsoring this video if you would like to create your own website that is beautiful well designed well squarespace is the place for you if you're a hand lettering artist you need a place to actually put your work and for people to contact you for client commissions and that place needs to look unique and professional for you so squarespace actually allows you to create a website 
download a template onto it all in the web browser and you can fully customize that and you can have an e-commerce platform on there where you can sell your goods and online resources so all the stuff that i've been doing for the past few years and i can tell you it works like a dream for 10 percent off your first order click the link down below in the description or type in patterson in the coupon code area when you go and purchase your website thanks for watching guys make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next video see you soon goodbye